know once I saw this that I had to dive in on Ryan Day against Jim Harbaugh. Now, this this whole mess is exactly what we want out of college football season. This is why we love college football. It's because of silly crap like this. So, 24-7 insider Dave Biddle has clarified exactly what went down between the two coaches. There was a Big Ten conference call yesterday between the Big Ten coaches. It says, while on the call, Ryan Day was talking, and suddenly Jim Harbaugh interrupted him to say that Ohio State was violating the rules by having on-field instruction and drills, which are not permitted until Friday. Harbaugh brought up Al Washington by name and mentioned a picture that surfaced with Washington working with some of the Buckeyes linebackers. Day fired back, how about I worry about my team and you worry about yours? It has been reported elsewhere that Day also said to Harbaugh while on the call that Michigan better hope there's a mercy rule because Ohio State is going to hang 100 on you. However, Day did not say that on the call, but he did say those identical words during a team meeting today, which took place not too long after the call among Big Ten head coaches. He told his team that the conference better have a mercy rule or the Buckeyes are going to hang 100 points on the Wolverines. Yes. Let's have more of this. I am tired of these coaches glad-handing and everybody being buddies with everybody. I want some vitriol. I want some some madness. I want somebody pissed off. Chris, tell me what do you think is going on here? So I, I just I find all of this kind of laughable. Here's <laughs> here's my issue. If a coach calls you out for cheating, for breaking a rule, you don't get to say, how about you worry about your team and I worry about mine? Because (laughs) I have to play you and we're playing by different rules. You already have a massive advantage than, than my school based on talent. And that's just, you know, some things you can control, some things you can't, and it, it is what it is. But, and you're getting extra practices in, Like, at some point in time, why do we have rules if we're not going to follow them or enforce them? And I guarantee you, nothing will happen to Ohio State because they are the blue blood. They are the the, the ones that that own favor. I also find it now, this has been a, a little bit of a pet peeve of mine for a while, okay? I know this rivalry goes back 100 years, okay? I know these two schools hate each other, and I know that there was a day and a time where this was a very even match. But over the last decade, all right, not two, three years, the last decade, this is no longer an even match. The game of college football has changed, and Ohio State has has sold its soul to the SEC way. Clemson has sold its soul to the SEC way, and, and therefore they are separating themselves drastically from everybody else, okay? Well, everybody else in their conference. In right. their conference. Oh, yeah. what, that's from pretty much every, everybody else in the country outside of four or five teams in the SEC and Clemson. Okay. There, there's just a different way. And we all know how that works. All right. Just put a metric shit ton of money in recruiting. Um, and then, uh, and then you just all of a sudden end up with the best players in the world. The fact that fields, I shared this out in our little group chat the other day, that Justin Fields posts a picture of, you know, himself like getting ready and talking about how I can't wait to play the school up north and I'm, you know, I'm going to beat the brakes off them. And I'm thinking, dude, you were committed to Georgia. You went to school. At, you've been there for right at 12 months. Okay. <laughs> how on earth did you all of a sudden just instill a hundred years of hatred in you. I think that is the fakest shit I have ever seen in my life. You're it's, it's made up hatred and coach speak for a rival, a your rival, a rival you didn't know about or think about 12 months ago. Okay. You were, you were hating Tennessee. You were hating Auburn. You were hating uh, Florida. Florida. That's who you were hating then. And now all of a sudden you can just flip that switch and hate this new school. The separation is this is, and I give you the same shit for for all your Tennessee hatred all the time. 
Okay, I think it's really funny that you still keep up with how many days it is since Tennessee's last beat. That tells you that's not a rivalry. That is a one-sided rivalry, and it does not it matter. Used, it used no to one matter. cares outside of the bully school about that game at all. Now, hold on, reason, hold on, hold on. Because we call it Let me jump in. the game. Let me jump then, in. Hold on. If we're going to talk about the Alabama Tennessee thing, they used to beat our ass when I was in middle I, school, I don't elementary care school. They used to. So What's it's still in ten years, Gary. It still matters no, to it me. It does not. It does not. When you beat the shit out of somebody for a decade, it's no longer a rivalry. Okay. When you bully the hell out of somebody for a decade. It doesn't matter if they dominated you for a hundred years. If you can look past 10 years, you are petty as hell. You are small. You don't see big picture at all. I don't agree with that. I don't agree. That, with that's that. fine. You but can now, be wrong. Now, Justin that's Fields, okay. like that's a different story, right? Now, I Your internet has this. completely frozen. Uh, you know, so has... Uh, I so got a you. drunk picture of Gary right now on my screen. <laughs> I've got the same thing on mine. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like the audio's still rolling, um, so we'll uh, we'll keep. Or can you still hear me? Yep, we have completely disconnected. That's great. Interesting. Okay, well we will keep this thing going for just a minute. Uh, looks like we're back live. I think, at least I hope. Chris, we got you back. You're back now. Okay, that was strange. I'm I'm actually on wired. Internet today. Um, yeah, but you're on shitty school wired internet. I'm the only person home. Nobody's pulling them for my fiber. No, no, no. I, what I'm saying is that I think that the the school internet dropped. I think something dropped. So okay, e- either let's way, say, yeah, either it way, had to be. Let's let's jump into the comments here. Michael said, "I love trash again." <laughs> uh, hold on. Am I am I back now? Am I good? Either way, Michael says, "I love the trash talking," but Jim Harbaugh is still a d bag. How do we really think Michigan is following all the rules? Um, I think I think Michigan is following rules more so than than Ohio State, but you know, I mean, we'll just see what happens with it, right? Uh, we got a ton of guys coming in the chat here, and I don't know. I have what, no idea how you know that because you were just frozen again for the last I don't know minute and a half. Uh, because everything is still uh, everything's still popping across. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I was frozen, but the stuff wasn't frozen. So, either way, boy, you talk about some technical difficulties today. I don't know what the hell is going on. It's not me. I just did a speed test. I'm downloading at 128, uploading at 126. Well, yeah, I, um, I mean, I, apparently, I'm good to go now. I don't know. That's good. I don't know. Anyway, so anyway, here, here let I me think, let me jump into I this chat right quick. The fact that Ohio State still gets their rocks off by beating up on Michigan and they, I have Ohio state friends that I follow and they post this shit all year long, all off season about how bad we're going to beat this team. How bad? How do you have hatred for somebody like that, that you just beat the hell out of? I don't understand. Like mentally, I can't get that. I have hatred for Alabama. I have disgust and loathing for them, but that is a real competitive game. All right. Even when Alabama will go nine years with beating LSU, there aren't nine blowout years, all right? No, Those no, you're are right. hardcore competitive games, and they matter to the nation, all right? LSU's biggest rival is Ole Miss, okay? I can't get any hatred or vitriol for Ole Miss, and Ole Miss has actually beaten up on LSU a couple of years in the last decade, all right? I still, It still doesn't matter because it's a Super Bowl for them, and it's a bad game for us. And that year, if we lose to Ole Miss, it cost us nothing because we weren't playing for the SEC at that point in time. We had already lost a couple of games. I'll so, tell you this. It is what makes college football uh, completely different from basically every other sport. It is, it's always been regionalized. Now, we have turned it more so over the past five to ten years into more of a national game but it has been a regional thing for a long, long time. So those rivalries between Alabama and Tennessee and Ole Miss and and who at Vanderbilt or whatever the hell, right? All of those things where where LSU has beaten the crap out of Ole Miss forever, like that game still matters to people from Ole Miss and LSU, especially the old school diehards that have been through it the whole time, right? It's just something that that you learn coming up, and that's why it matters. So that that's why it matters for uh, for college football fans. Now I don't know why it matters for uh, Justin Fields, but I get it for actual true blue fans. 
Like that stuff makes sense. Let me Michigan jump into the chat. Michigan wasn't a threat to Ole Miss. Justin Fields, most of his life. Yeah. Most of the time that he's been alive, if he grew up a Buckeye fan, but he didn't. Because if he grew up a Buckeye fan, he would have went to Ohio State instead begin of Georgia. With. Yeah, no, he, he went to Ohio State because it was the best opportunity that was open. If he'd been at Ohio State for the last three years, I'd believe all this. Because I think in three years, even if you picked a random college for whatever reason, you can grow hatred. You can grow so You can't grow that in a year, and the one time you played them, you beat the hell out of them. Agreed. What do they have? I, I just don't know that I can have hatred for somebody who I don't see as a threat. Now, that's see, that's the thing. Now, Ryan Day can be mad at Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh has always been a Michigan guy. Right? It, like, yeah. always. So, I can understand him hating Ohio State. I yes. don't really get it from Ryan Day back. I mean, Ryan Day was at, what, New Hampshire? Or what? I mean... Yeah, like, like, like. did you just all of a sudden learn, I'm, this is what my boosters want to hear. They want to hear that we beat the hell out of Michigan. And I understand that there's that kind of stuff that happens in college football. It's different in real sports and professional sports because you don't have the haves and the have-nots. Okay? Yeah. There is a, there is a line of... The, the Celtics don't have a long-term hatred for the Hawks because they beat the hell out of the Hawks, okay? They have a hatred with the Lakers because they played in, in championship series for years and years. The Red Sox and the Yankees have hated each other for a long time because when they play, it matters to the pennant. Like, those games actually matter. The Cubs and the Cardinals hate each other. When one wins and one loses, it actually matters to the pennant. Yeah. This this doesn't matter to anything because Michigan hasn't been in that conversation for a while. Yeah, now you can understand Michigan hating them, but you like. Yes, Ohio I State understand the little brother hating them. I just can't. I get why Ole Miss hates LSU. I fully understand that. Getting bullied by somebody sucks, but being the bully, I just don't understand that. I I do not think of Ole Miss as a threat at all. I want good things for them. If I had hatred for them, I wouldn't want good things for them. I cheer for them 90% of the time. I think it's fun down in Oxford. I have a good time. But that's that's because I don't see them as a threat. And so I can see the beauty and the positive of it. I just don't understand. You know, I, I see the same thing about Tennessee. We say that. I grew up, I hated Tennessee because in the 90s, they were a bully. I don't feel bad for them now. And I mean, I don't, I don't fear them now, so I can't hate them. I can't be afraid of something that a I'm smarter than or B that I'm better than. Okay. I just, I just can't hate something that I'm better than and I'm smarter than it, th those it just doesn't work in my, in my ecosystem. And, and that's it. Let me, let me dive that's why into the I chat. think this is, this is pathetic on Ryan day's part and Ohio state's part. And Michigan, you know, no one likes to be the tattletale. I think it's always kind of weird that we always shit on the tattletale guy. But at the same time, everybody in the conference is like, yeah, fuck them. They're, they're yeah. already better than us, and they're cheating and breaking rules, and they're going to get away with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I mean, Wait, if we it, catch Purdue doing this, does anybody care? Doubtful. Doubtful. Okay. But, but this was Ohio State hired away, you know, Wilson, the linebackers coach. Yeah, from, or Washington, the linebackers coach from Michigan last year, and and now he's got him on the field before they're supposed to be on the field. All that kind of mess, right? Here's the chat. Michael said, uh, "I love the trash talking, but Jim Harbaugh is still a d bag." Do we really think Michigan is following all the rules? Um, I don't think that they are. Like, if you're competitive, then no. Obviously, you're looking for workarounds. But do I think that some con some teams uh, that are more upper echelon break more rules than others? Uh, absolutely. Or or find better workarounds. I mean, that's what makes them better, right? Like, I, you don't think I'm crazy for that, right? No, I don't. I don't at all. But at the same time, I don't, I don't know that those teams get to brag about it and tell other teams to stay out of their business. Yeah. Like, you don't get to beat the hell out of people and then tell other teams, don't, don't bother us that we're cheating and breaking rules. Yeah. Like, that that doesn't work. That, but because people hate Harbaugh, this is the world that we live in. Because he's seen as the douchebag, nobody wants to hear from him. But I, literally, we just got a text in our group text that just came up on my phone. It's like Harbaugh being a caddy bitch again. Like, come on, like you're from Northwestern. Why why do you want to see Ohio State get stronger and better and and have an advantage that nobody else is getting? Yeah, I, I don't I don't see anything wrong with this at all. Like. 
maybe he should have brought it up somewhere other than the Big Ten conference call. Oh no, no, hey, hang but, on, hang on. How many coaches would have went to the went to the NCAA or went to the conference commissioner and tried to keep it on the down low and not let anybody know? No. How about the stones of Harbaugh to call him out right to his face on the phone? Right there on the conference call in front of every, the commissioner, every other coach called him out on it straight up. See, that takes balls to me. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. What Phil Fulmer did to Alabama years ago, everybody thought Phil reported Tennessee, but we don't know. We just assume he did, right? And therefore, you got that's a caddy way out of something. That's a that's a coward's way. You can call somebody on the garbage, call them on the garbage. Yeah, agreed. Matt jumps in. He said it's like Fairweather fans jumping from team to team. Uh, he said it always matters. Tennessee will have a streak again one day in the future, and they will hold it over Alabama. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, you find the bully in high school and laugh at him now because you won at life. Uh, Terry said, what's up? I can't get YouTube to work. Well, uh, nobody could get anything to work for, for middle. Uh, Michael said, it's a rivalry in the eyes of the team getting their ass beat. Colorado still sees Nebraska as a rival, and Nebraska could care less about Colorado. Hey, I guarantee that that's changed after Colorado beat them the last two years. I was just about to say, yep. Nebraska could care less. Oh, that game doesn't matter to us because that team's now starting to kick their ass. Yep, you got it. Uh, Terry said, uh, read the comments. Gary, we're... Uh, <laughs> Terry said, hey, read the comments. Gary, we're risking our lives to watch this show. Joseph said, you find the bully. Uh, he already said that again. Uh, Huey said, if there isn't hatred, no one will watch. And then Terry said, everybody lives off haterade now. Huey said, Idaho playing Boise Spade has been so one-sided for years, uh, that it's no longer a rivalry. Uh, rivals will rise again and win and hold that win over the other team. And Terry said it's actually only a rivalry when each side wins one. They shouldn't every wins one that they shouldn't every now and then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, that, Huey, that, that, and and I wor I work in a world of decades. Okay, if I have to go back more than ten years, none of those stats matter. They just don't. They just don't matter. Yeah. Okay. Ten years ago, Justin Fields was eight years old, all right? Terry said Tennessee beats LSU this year. <laughs> okay. I mean, they'd have to get on the schedule first, right? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't know that we're going to play them, but. Hey, there you okay. go. Uh, Purdue needs the boost to win, Huey said. Have you been to West Lafayette? It's in the middle of cornfields. No, but uh, that's but that's the thing that I find laughable is that other fan bases will take this moment to take the shot at Harbaugh because he's always the guy that's always stirring stuff up. Yeah. All right? When really they should take the opportunity to take the shot at the big boy, okay? But here's the problem. Those same fans remember Michigan as being that bully years ago. I, I just don't understand how you can hold on to something that long. They, they kind of... I just don't get it. I yeah. don't have hatred for Notre Dame because of what they did in the 90s. I don't have hatred for Michigan for what they did in the 90s. I just don't. I don't care. Terry said uh, Chris Dunn went on a tangent, and Matt MS 69 on Twitch said Ohio State could plausibly put up 100 points. They almost did that two years ago. Uh, and Brown Yeti jumps in. He said, what's up? What's up, Brown Yeti? Good to see you in here. Let's, uh, let's dive off of that one. Let's jump into 